Hi oh guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Thunder, and today we're going to be creating a fall damage system. This is so that when we decide to be stupid and throw ourselves down, we can take damage. So, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we'll need to do is go over to our player armature, click on him, and we're going to be using two scripts. The first one will be the player stats script, which we created on the previous tutorial, and the second one will be the third person controller script. So, I'll go ahead and open them up. On our player stats script, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new header, which I'll call fall values. Then under here, I'm going to create a serialized private float, which we're going to call fall damage. We will set it to be equal to seven by default. Then we're going to create another serialized private float, which we're going to call the minimum fall height. This will be the value that we'll use that if we fail and the height is under that, we will not take any damage. For this, I'm going to use a value of three. Then scroll down, and down here, we're going to create a new public void, which we're going to call land. In here, we're going to pass a float, which we're going to call last height. The first thing that we need to do is calculate the height that we've fallen. So we're gonna do a float height equals vector three dot distance, and we'll first pass vector three dot up times last height, comma vector three dot up times transform dot position dot y this will be your current height then down here we want to check if we are under the minimum fall height or if we have jumped up that way we can just return and not apply any damage for this we'll do if height is less than minimum fall height or last height is greater than sorry less than transform dot position dot y if any of those cases happen we'll return else we'll just execute the take damage function and we'll pass fall damage times height. We want to be the height, depending on how high we fell, it's the amount of damage that we take. That's why we're multiplying it by the height. So keep in mind, if you fell from four meters, it will be seven times four. If you fell from five meters, seven times five and so on. Next, we'll be working with a third person controller script. Now, I know it seems like a lot on your screen, but don't be overwhelmed. It's actually quite simple what we're gonna do. First, scroll down over to where it says player grounded right here. And we're going to create two new private variables. The first one will be a boolean called has landed. This variable will be in charge of telling us when to execute the land function on our stats script. Next, go ahead and create a private float, which we'll call last height. This will be the last register height before we fail. Next, we need to go over to the start function down here, and we're going to set the last height to be the current height that we started at. We're going to do equals transform dot position dot y. We then need to go over to the update function, and after we execute these three functions, we're going to make an if statement, and if we're grounded, we want to first check if it's not has landed. If we have not landed, then we'll execute the land function from our player stats. So we'll do get component player stats that land, and we'll pass on the last height float. Then after this other if, we'll go ahead and set has landed to be true. In the case that we're not grounded, we're going to set has landed to be false. And now the last thing that we need to do is scroll down over to where it says grounded check. And in this function, after the if statement, all we're going to do is, if we are grounded and we have landed, then we'll set the last height to be equal to our current position. So we're going to do transform.position.y. Now in our game, if we decide to be stupid and throw ourselves down, there we go, we take fall damage, and it's working. So you now have a fully working fall damage system. This will conclude the video for today. As always, thank you for watching. If you liked the video and found it helpful, consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below, and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.